stop planner here looking at Verizon using trading view on the daily time frame the stock planner channel is an education channel it's important to do your own due diligence learn it and win and never take advice from anybody on the internet know how to do it first looking at the MACD at this time it was saying short it's it's right at the zero line usually when it's above the zero line we look for shorts the stochastic RSI is above the 80 came coming around not quite yet but the RSI has come around and has dropped below the 70 these guys are saying short last bar on the price action is the red the zigzag this is the zigzag indicator it's a it repaints itself and it looks to the future so you can't really use it as an indicator these are tops and bottoms are perfect and that's because it waits to put those lines in there until it has enough data to be perfect. Right now, it doesn't know. I think it might want to go down, but only for the short term, because I'm a long-term investor in Verizon. Now, I will tell you this. I'm looking at my Verizon plan to reduce the cost based on the fact that we're going to, it's going to be tight this next year or so. I think a lot of people are doing that. So if that's true, it might affect the price and go down. Who knows? But I do believe Verizon will stay above the 40 price for the next year. And that's where I'm at. I want to, to, to buy a call, which is a long term. You know, we're expecting the stock to go up. But this is way in the money because I do think that over the next few months, our economy is going to be shaky and it's going to be in this area here for a while. But I want to buy a 40 call. A 40 call is $1,150. That's a lot of money for a small account. Looking at a call broken wing using a simulator tool called OptionStrat, it's free. And we're looking at the graph. If Verizon comes down a little bit, which I think it will be over the next couple days and weeks, we can take a profit. And we can get out fairly quick if it comes down just a little bit. You can make yourself $55, $60. To do this trade, you can put it in your pocket. $120 and the max loss is only $380 and if this price gets in between here if it comes down to, to around 45 46 44 you could put a lot more in your pocket at expiration but it also that's an area where you can make some money down by getting out early there's that 40 call that I want to buy it costing me 1150 or $1,150 for 100 of them because you're controlling 100 shares of stock. One, one call controls 100 shares of stock. But by selling two 45 calls at 780 each times two, you're going to pay for this. If it comes down past the 45, that's when your calls come into money. Right now, they're out of the money. The stock price is around here, 50, 51. It needs to come down to 45. These become more profitable. You sell it, you buy them back for a profit, and you do this stuff again because this deal does not expire till January 24, January 19th. The object is to keep this 40 call, and that's a big difference than just buying the call outright, putting some money in your pocket versus putting a let out nearly $1,200 is a lot better. But you need to have a margin count, and you need to have at least $500. So what do you think? For the next few months, is it coming down here or going up that way? What makes you think it's going to go up? Is our economy going to get better? Is the inflation going to stop rising? People going to continue working? Supply chain going to be fixed? War in Ukraine going to be over? Oil and gas coming down? Or is it most likely going to be some little, little headwinds? But I don't think it's going to get to here. And this is what we're trying to do for the next 18 months. We want this stock to stay above it. And we want to sell calls, like a cover call, against it to pay for this. The object is to, is to own this. Leave your comments below and tell me whether it's going up or down. Whether you tr traded a broken wing butterfly ever. It's a little tricky, but it's easy to manage. And I'm preferring them for a longer term type play because... There's a lot of volatility in the market, and I'm finding out I'm more profitable by taking the, the higher, longer road.
Anyway, please like and subscribe. I'm getting close to the 1,000 mark for a small YouTube channel. This is great. I need your help. I have a free Discord. My trading view settings are in the description below. Happy trading. We'll catch you on the flip. Verizon. Short term down. Long term up.